Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought whilst I'm in this very smart outfit that I've been in for work, I thought I would have the opportunity to do a bit of a book video because this outfit is giving, it's kind of giving like librarian. It's giving smart, it's giving knowledgeable. So <laughs> I want to do a book video. I've been meaning to do one of these for quite a while now. I mean, I used to do one every few months, I'd say, but I don't think I've actually done one in ages. So I have a lot of books to show. I actually don't know how I'm gonna pick them all up, if I'm honest. Um, so I'm just gonna pick up the first little pile. Ooh. There's a lot, there's a lot going on here. So. As usual, I'm going to start with the books I have read and then the books I'm going to read or currently reading or would like to read. Give you some recommendations, maybe some inspo, maybe we're just like going through this book experience together. Um, so let me start off with the book I have most recently read and that is Yinka, Where Is Your Husband? But with a Z. Um, and this is a lovely book. Um, I will put the descriptions on for you to pause and read them, only if you want to. Um, so, lovely book. Um, it kind of explores the pressures of women trying to get married. This is from a Nigerian perspective and the pressures it, it kind of comes with and, and the, you know, everyone else around you is getting married kind of book so and you know what it was funny it was light-hearted easy read got through that quick and this was one of my book club books so I'm part of a book club now um so is that lame or is that cool I don't know <laughs> uh but yeah this was recommended by someone from there and so I'm actually going to that next week and I will save most of my thoughts for there but I actually would recommend this book um it was, if you're wanting a quick read, this one is for you. And something, you know, to make you feel a bit normal, make you not, um, you know, succumb to life's pressures, I guess. Um, but yeah, that was my first book. Second book, now I read this ages ago, but this was also a book club book, and it's a book lovers. It was the first one, um, because the title was very, very apt for, for the group. In the end, this one was um, a good book. Again, very quick turner, ready easy, but wasn't one of my absolute faves. Um, it, it kind of like, it was that classic love story kind of book. Good for summer, good for a light-hearted read, um, but wouldn't put it into my must, must, must reads. So yeah, that's this one. It's kind of about um, a publisher. Oh, is she? Yeah, publisher and her kind of, or is she an author? <laughs> I read it ages ago. She's either an author or a publisher and she it's about her going to one of the locations in one of the books and kind of falling in love. But yeah. Then, you're gonna get sick of me saying this but this was another book club book. It's called If I Can't Have You. And it is practically you know the series you on netflix that from a female perspective and in a book it was a really good book i think um slightly disappointed in the ending but that's that um but again read this very easily it was a very quick page turner um it was about the the, the slippery slope of basically becoming a stalker um and you know, this, in this instance, it's from a female perspective, so I feel like you can kind of, I mean, not relate, not relate, I am not a stalker, but like, it's easier to, to kind of understand, I don't know, that might be me sounding really weird now. Then, Taylor Jenkins Reid, now this, this woman makes good books, all of her books I've read so easily, this one is Daisy Jones and the Six. If you haven't heard of this, where have you been? Because it is also a TV show at the moment on Amazon Prime. Um, such a good read. It's about a band practically based off Fleetwood Mac. So if you're a Fleetwood Mac fan, 
this is the book for you. I'm a massive Fleetwood Mac fan. Um, the only thing, hard thing to get in, into it is kind of the way it's written. It's written, I think, from like a documentary style. Um, but no, not I think it is. Um, so it's quite hard to grasp. But once you've grasped it, it's a good one. And I recommend any of her books, to be honest, because they are amazing. Okay, this one, The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. Difficult book because it explores some heavy themes of practically a person who would like to commit suicide, if I'm being honest. Um, but it explores all the different chances she would have had in life if she made different choices and ultimately it's not all doom and gloom, it's not depressing, it really shows you that kind of life is worth living um, and it's actually ultimately a nice book but I don't want to give too much away um, but it does have some heavy, heavy themes so if you're not kind of into that um, but again I couldn't really put this book down, I thought it was really good and it is a number one Sunday Times bestseller so if I was so far to recommend any probably would go for the midnight library but that's just so far <laughs> then this one dear dolly i got this for christmas and um, if you saw it in my christmas haul on love life and friendship now i liked this book but it wasn't one for me where i felt like i could constantly pick it up it um is literally just ex excerpts ex experts, it's not experts, excerpts, from um, Dolly Alderton's um, Sunday Times column. So it didn't feel like a book per se, it just felt like a collection of her work, which I did enjoy and I did enjoy reading each one, but I, I was also, it's very much like giving advice on, on relationships and things like that, which I didn't quite feel like I was in a place that I needed it. Whereas if someone was really in that place, I think you would really, really like this book. So it's kind of, I can't give a fair judgment on it, but just because I just didn't feel like I could relate. Um, but I think some people would really, really love this. So, and I do love Dolly Alderton and I love the way she writes books and, and is very comedic in her style of writing. So I enjoyed it in that sense. Okay, the last one that I've read, I think I actually, um, I showed this in my last book video, but I don't think i would read it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we're here to talk about it again anyway. Um, but this is very, 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 very similar to this. It's about a girl called Sunny who is finding pressure from her family and being part of N, let me just get this right. Yeah, so instead of Nigerian, this one is more about Sikh pressures and being part of a religious family and finding the pressure of getting married. So it's very, very, very similar. Um, and it's, it's, it's nice to kind of, like, kind of clear yourself up on other cultures and, and understand that people do have the same kind of pressures as, as other people. And it's nice to, to they're both very funny books, very lighthearted, funny, page turners, would recommend them. Okay. Now on to the second part of the video, which is always my favourite part because it's the ones I'm kind of excited to read. Um, so these are my four books I would like to read soon. Um, these two, oh my god no, I've got that completely wrong, I've read this book every summer after. That has been in one of my videos ages ago, it took me so long to read it. Finally read it. it, was a good book, classic kind of love story with a bit of a twist, L enjoyed it. Um, did take a while for me to get, kind of get into it, but once I did, I couldn't stop reading it, so I enjoyed that one. Right, I actually, these three books are my upcoming books. Let's get this all right. Um, and these two have been on my shelf for years. You know when you just need to get around to reading a book. So this one's A Monster Calls, um, Insanely Beautiful Writer by John Green. It's just one I've had on my shelf for ages and I just bloody need to get around to reading it. So this is one of my summer books I need to read. This, again, has been on my shelf for ages. Um, so it's found A Missing Child Returns, but who took him? 
Like, that is gripping. That is something I would love. The Missing, I loved that um, TV series. Um, when that came out, I was a big fan. I feel like that. this is that in a book. Um, so I really want to, to crack on and read that one. Now this is a new one for me. It's called Before the Coffee Gets Cold. And I think the whole concept is that you can go to a coffee shop and see someone who's maybe you've lost or like see people that you can't really see in real life. But the whole terms of the coffee shop is that you have to leave them before the coffee gets cold. And that's the reason why it's called that. It explores the age-old question, what would you change if you could travel back in time? And more importantly, who would you want to meet maybe for one last time? So I think it, I, I don't know, I was really interested in this book. It's by an author, I, I have no idea who they are. It's a Japanese bestseller, but it is in English. Yeah, <laughs> uh, panicked them. Um, so it's one of these books that I've been wanting to read and I've seen on TikTok and I think I'm ready to give this one a go. So a nice wholesome small small pile, but there are loads on my Goodreads that I want to read and I am constantly saving TikToks of videos that I, of books that I really want to read. One that I really want to read is the Colleen Hoover second book in the series. I know not everyone's a fan, but their book, her books are just so easy, easy to read and it will really help towards my 12 book target. I am really on the way. Okay, so this is just a quick, interjection is that the right word um to this video because i thought i would show that i actually did buy it starts with us by colleen hoover the next one i think people always think it's weird because the first one is it ends with us and then the second one is it starts with us if you can hear that the heavens have absolutely opened it's thunder and lightning and stormy weather in manchester um, and it's absolutely chucking it down um, but what nice like this is perfect book weather to like cozy up in bed read a book so yeah I bought that one and then I just thought I'd show you the next book I bought which is Yellow Face I bought both of them because they were just on offer and I've been thinking about buying them um, Yellow Face um, now I've seen this all over TikTok um, so I wanted to give it a go as well and then I was thinking about buying it thinking about it and then I saw a billboard for it like who where, when is since when is there billboards for like books so I thought that's a sign I need to get it so I got it and it seems like a really interesting concept a bit more like thriller um, type genre which I don't tend to to reach for um, God, I can't stop looking at the weather it's crazy out there um, <laughs> but I'm going to get started on a, I think, a new book today. Um, continue with the auto autobiography, but um, also start another book as well. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just quickly share that I did have another two new books that I wanted to show. This is by Currently Reading. It's called A Taste of Power, A Black Woman's Story by Elaine Brown. get some uh, non-fiction under my belt. It was a recommendation to me. Um, it's meant to be a really powerful autobiography and really interesting and that's what you kind of want when you want non-fiction. So I'm currently reading this. I'm enjoying it so far. I will say the text is really really small so it's hard to like get through it and I'm only like that much through. And non-fiction to me isn't as much of a page like page turners as um, fiction but I'm trying. So yeah. But that is my book video for this month and maybe some summer reads. Give me your summer read recommendations and just some books you love. I want to do a book video of my all time must read books because I always kind of do like what books I've read, what books I'm reading, but ultimately you want to know the really good ones. So I'll make sure to kind of keep a list of some really good ones that I've got I've got going on and I will make sure to make that in the upcoming months. But thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And yes, if anything from this video, give me some book recommendations because that's what I need. But yeah, I appreciate it. Love you all. And thank you so much for watching.